I did the first couple of Arsis records, because uh, back in those days I would have been considered like the, the sole songwriter for the band. So um, all of those uh, initial ideas were all worked out on a, a cassette uh, four track home recording studio. So same stuff I've been using since high school. Um, that and some pretty, some pretty ancient versions of like Finale uh, for working out some of the, the harmonies and counterpoint. Um, so nothing like too advanced as far as like the home, home recording front goes. Um, and ever since We Are The Nightmare, uh, that was the last record I really worked out on, on the four track. Um, ever since then it's just been like a weird combination of some really basic uh, recording programs mixed with my old DR 550 drum machine that I've had since I was like 15 years old um, to work out ideas. But for this album, I really wanted to like kind of step it up, so to speak. Because over the past decade, like home recording stuff has gotten like way cheaper. Um, there's more more literature available than ever on how to use this stuff, and like everybody knows how to to make a decent sounding demo and or record at home. Um, and I was like way behind the curve for many many years, so. I uh, had some time off from touring and work last year when I was like really, really getting into the whole idea of doing a new Arsis album and I was like, you know what, I'm actually going to like learn how to track myself properly. I'm going to learn how to use a, a DI box, uh, I'm going to learn what a wave file looks like, I'm going to learn how to, to edit my own guitars and um, it just made the whole writing process like a lot easier um, with everybody in Arsis because at this point, we all know how to record ourselves at home. So, uh, you know, whether I'm coming up with some initial ideas or Brandon and whatnot, it's just so much easier to swap ideas via the internet. Everything's all lined up to, to the same grid. We can uh, trade ideas, record solos. Uh, Sean can put his own spin on the drums. Noah can put his own spin on the bass parts so easily via the internet because physics really gets in the way of us being in the same room to, to, to hammer out music together. I live in Texas, Sean and Noah are on the West Coast, Brandon's in New Jersey, very close to New York City, so like just the logistics of us trying to get together to write is just very impractical. Um, and we're not the only band in this situation, in fact I'm sure it's like more common than not these days. So um, I think just the fact that we all kind of got on a on a similar page as far as like our, our home recording techniques. It just made um, getting the pre-production together for this record so much easier than, than it ever has been in the past. Well, this was my first album writing for Arsis. When I came into the band, Unwelcome was already written, so I was only able to contribute solos. So my influence is new on this record. A big difference is that Everyone in the band knows how to record now. Everybody learned how to record in that five year gap from Unwelcome. So we were able to build these songs remotely together from the ground up. Everyone was able to get their stamp on it and able to record their parts and we were able to make more refined pre-production, more detailed, and just put more hours of work into the songwriting and make a more mature record. 